if you're changing the battery in the 775 there it is it's quite easy to drop the front of the radio you need to take off the top case the bottom case and leave it sitting um, on the bottom and then drop the front down like I've done here right here's the, uh, the VFO be careful on that um, that one there because it just tends to pull it's very short pull from the right I've had to just poke that in a little bit but this is what you'll see that's to DS2 there there's the meter if you want this board out to replace the tube the CCFL you'll have to desolder those two there and then the board just drops out or just uh, leaves away so you can get to the to replace it so that's what I'm going to uh, replace here while I've got this stripped down I've already got one <coughs> couldn't fit it in the 990 because it was spot welded in you know I've got the 990 so I've still got the battery the replacement uh, from a few years ago hopefully it's good and I'm going to put it in there it may be a good battery but then again why I can see it and it's easy to get to I'm going to put a new one in there the battery just slips in like that look just slips in like that and it's in by the way the other one had 2.95 volts so it was okay wasn't it but uh, we've got a new one in now which is 3 point something 3.12 or something like that so there you go it's in for another 5 years okay A quick look around here. Now we're in. There's your um, encoder there. Look, if you ever have to replace it, this one seems fine at the moment.